everyone, welcome to episode 2 of the Planet Saving Meal series. I am Dr. Fatima from the Sunway Centre for Planetary Health. And this series is part of the Centre's initiative to promote sustainable food systems. A vegan or vegetarian diet, or a plant-based diet, is not just healthy for us, but also for the planet too, because it can reduce our individual carbon footprints. So without further ado, let's get to the kitchen. So here we are at the kitchen uh, for our episode 2, and it's a special new Chinese New Year edition. And we have our special guest chef as well, Dr. Professor Elizabeth Lee, CEO of Sunway Education Group. And our menu today is vegan duck. So Prof, what do you think about the menu? I'm very excited. Vegan duck looks not quite vegan duck yet, but I'm <laughs> sure we'll get there soon. Yep, yep. So, so our ingredients for today, uh, we have oil, mm -hmm. we have light soy sauce, mm -hmm. we have vegetarian oyster sauce. Oh, okay. uh, so no uh, oysters were involved in the making of this video. Okay, <laughs> alright. So we have ginger mm. and we have carrots, yes. uh, mushroom. Uh -huh. And we also have bamboo shoots. Oh, lovely. Yeah. And the VIP ingredient for today, our bean curd skin. So a few tablespoons of oil. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can hear the sound, but I can. And it smells nice as well. Mm, doesn't yeah. it? Yep. Yeah. And then mm, we add and then the rest. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So Prof, what's your favourite memory of Chinese New Year? My favourite memory of Chinese New Year must be the food I guess, you know, ah. because everyone makes such an effort during Chinese New Year to cook yummy food and um, yeah, one of the highlights is actually vegetarian dishes. Ah. Um, for a lot of Chinese um, on the New Year's Day, the first day, mm -hmm. uh, we would actually eat vegan food. Yes, and in yeah. fact, um, when we go back to my mom in law mm -hmm. so on the first day, especially for, for lunch, uh -huh. uh, there will always be very yummy I vegetarian see. food. Yes. Ah, nice. Mm, it's looking good, huh? Yeah, it is. Shall we put the bamboo yeah, shoots in, sure. right? Yeah, looking great. So we have all the orange, the dark brown. Such a pretty colour, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. it is. It smells it so nice. Yes. I know all of you can't smell it, but trust me, it smells great. <laughs> so we shall now... So we shall add in the light soy sauce. Ah, the colour changes, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our vegetarian oyster sauce. It's simmering it's away. Simmering. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just simmer for a while and then it'll be ready for the next step. Right. So this is the filling that we had prepared earlier and we have one additional ingredient here. It's actually a mixture of water and the vegetarian oyster sauce. So, and we have our bean curd skin here. Now for this step, what we need to do is to um, use the oyster sauce and water mixture to sort of like just paint on the bean curd. Let's see what that do this. Okay. There we go. And we will put another layer yeah. of it. Yeah. Yeah. One more layer. Yeah. So that is yummy, yummy. Yeah. So remember to purchase the soft one. There's another version of the bean curd skin which is quite hard. Mm. So this is already soft and it's easier for us to um, manage and wrap and so on. Right. So there we go. Let's fold yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, it's looking so good. Yes. Alright. Wow, look yeah. at this. It looks Isn't nice. it amazing? Yeah. Looks like and it doesn't fall apart, so you don't have to worry about it. It's like it holds it in together. Yeah, so there we have our cute little wrap. <laughs> so we have two of them ready right now, uh, two of the wraps, and the next step is to steam them. Alright, so let's transfer them. This one. The second one. There we oh, go. Good. Yep, yep. Looks great. Okay, so we'll have to do this for about 12 minutes. Mm. And once it's steamed, it's ready, it's nice, then we can move on to the last step. 
Okay, let's so, warm our pan again, right? Yeah. And so we have our steamed uh, vegan duck here. Okay, so we are at our last stage of the prep. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need a bit of oil to pan fry it. And okay. here, we have a mixture of um, vegetarian oyster sauce, a little bit of sesame oil. You can smell the sesame oil, so nice. I like Ooh, the smell of sesame yes, oil. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, and we have brown sugar as well. A little bit of light um, soy sauce and water. So that's our combination for this step. So you can see the bean curd uh, skin is not that flimsy so you don't have to worry too much when you move it mm. in and out of the steamer. Ah, oh, so nice. Prop is enjoying the smell. Yes, it smells great. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yep, it does. Okay. And turn it to the other side once it's yep. ready. It looks ready. Yep. So we'll lower the heat a little bit before we pour in the sauce. Needs to be on the safe side so that it doesn't splash on us. Shall we so close we'll just it? Close yeah. it for a while. And then two minutes. Yep, let it simmer a little for two minutes and then it's ready. So here we have our vegan duck. Yeah, it's all it's ready. So nice. Yep, yep. So maybe Prof, you can do the honors of making it look prettier. <laughs> so that's it for today. And because today is a special Chinese New Year edition. We are gonna have Yi Sang, so let's get on to that. Okay, so a lot of times the Yi Sang is also called um, Tak Choi Yi Sang in Cantonese, which is Rainbow Yi Sang. And so that's why you see that it's usually very colorful and it has many varieties of vegetables. And vegetables are important because it signifies life. And what is great is that everything is raw, so less carbon footprint that way. And um, again, this whole idea of life, life cycle, etc. Happiness, because it's colourful. And it's up to us to choose what vegetables we would like in it. And obviously here we've chosen lots of um, delicious vegetables which are crunchy and also um, has wonderful um, subtle flavours. So what we normally do is, besides the vegetables, we will have the karopok, everyone's favourite. And the karopok actually signifies uh, fortune because um, it's like gold. And hence, uh, you will find a lot of karopok in the yi sang as well. Now, very often they add fish. And why fish? Because fish signifies uh, abundance. So in the ocean, you have an abundance of fish, and hence, you know, you put fish on it. But for a vegan meal, what we normally do with vegan yi sang is my mother in law substitutes it with coconut slices, young coconut slices, very tender, very sweet and it looks like fish, right? But today they don't have that, yes, so instead uh, we have this. And of course we will put in the oil because the oil is like um, what helps everything to go smoothly throughout the year and the plum sauce which makes it all sweet, so may you have a sweet new year. We will not put the peanuts in because Sarah is allergic to peanuts. So that, remember, if you have friends who are allergic to peanuts, please find out first before you pour it in. Okay? So we'll put that aside. But in the meantime, you can pour the rest of this. Um, you put in your wishes as you're tossing the yi sang as high as possible. You just shout it out, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Happiness! Yeah.